uh, Jeremy Mercer, who uh, was in charge, has already given a statement twice, both um, here in Philadelphia, the day after the election, I believe, and then he was interviewed on television. Uh, Jeremy will basically corroborate uh, the statements that were given about the fact that he was there for 21 hours and then again for another couple of hours. He believes about 300,000 ballots went through. He was unable to see any of them. He requested uh, an opportunity to do so numerous times. Then uh, they went to court. They got an order that they could be six feet closer. They were put six, six feet closer and the tables they were observing were put at least six feet further away or the people moved to tables that were further in the back. Um, the other witnesses who we've interviewed, and we've interviewed about half of the 50, all corroborate to a T exactly what you see here, that they thought they were going to show up to do an inspection. Some of them had inspected absentee ballots before, where you're shown the ballot. The Republican is shown the ballot. The Democrat is shown the ballot. Neither objects. You put it in. If either objects, you put it aside for discussion later. Nothing like that happened here at all. This is a gross miscarriage of the process that would assure that these ballots are not fraudulent. It's a fraud, an absolute fraud. I mean, you can't just submit these ballots and not have them checked. They're highly suspect ballots, mail-in mail, mail ballots. It's also highly suspect because it's almost mathematically impossible several people have already testified, to close the lead that Biden closed. When, um, when things closed on Tuesday night, President Trump was ahead by almost 800,000 votes. And it took a couple of days to be able to produce enough ballots to bring it down. Now, could some of those ballots have been manufactured in advance by the Democrat machine of Philadelphia? Wouldn't be the first time they did it. And then exactly why didn't they want the ballots inspected if the, if the ballots are legitimate? It seemed to me, knowing the suspicion that would exist on a political machine like this with the reputation that it has, you would go to the extra extent to be transparent. Instead, they went to an extra extent to be secretive, as did the Democrat Party in pretty much the cities they control as a machine like this one because although we don't have as many complaints yet, we've got about 12 in Atlanta, we've got about 15 in Detroit, we've got about 20 more in the rest of Michigan. I would say in at least 10 states now, we have complaints almost exactly like this. This will be a statewide case because there are 300,000 ballots equally in question in Pittsburgh with witnesses similar to these witnesses. In some cases, um, in some cases, they actually saw a little bit more that would suggest that the ballots were being tampered with. But I have to wait until they're all fully debriefed.